Hi guys, I just want to uh, share um, an article that was uh, put out in 2001 by the NS NCSE, National Center for Science and Education. And it's about the uh, past president of the Flat Earth Society. So Flat Earth Society president dies. And his name was Charles K. Johnson, president of the International Flat Earth Society for almost 30 years. Died in March at the age of 76. Johnson succeeded the late Samuel Shenton of Dover, England, as head of the often ridiculed organization which steadfastly opposed evolution and most of the physics, geology, and astronomy of the past half millennium. As former uh, NCSE President Bob Shadewald stressed, Charlie was on the level, quote unquote. He severely he sincerely believed that a literal reading of the Bible required one to recognize the world is flat. His flamboyant newsletter was contemptuous of fellow creationists who accepted greaseball earth theory. <laughs> he tended to capitalize every third word or so because they were not true biblical literalists. Greaseball, <laughs> instead of globe turd. Hey, we'll have to, have to use that one, greaseball, <laughs> was his universal term for round earthers who, he noted, would obviously slide off a spherical earth. <laughs> greaseballs. Simon Dan's a greaseball. Many creationists re resenting being lumped with Johnson, but they actually shared his logic and approach to science, relying on scripture as the ultimate authority in science and demanding that common sense and direct observation were the only tools needed or even allowed in scholarship. Johnson often showed people a photograph of, of his wife in Australia, noting that she was not standing upright and not hanging upside down by her toes as she would have to have, to have done had the world been a greaseball. <laughs> he had proof. He had proof he was eager to share that the sun is 32 miles wide and 3,000 miles from Earth, just a bit closer than heaven, and that John Kennedy and, and his close friend Nikki Khrushchev worked together to foment the hoax of a space race and moon landing in order to make f a fortune for their friends. The moon landing was a Hollywood stunt actually filmed near Johnson's trailer home in the Mojave Desert in perhaps Arizona. It was scripted by none other than Arthur C. Clarke. The Flat Earth Society traced its roots to the Universal Zetetic Society founded in England in 1832 by Sir Burley Robotham, author of Earth, Not a Globe. Robert Shadewald befriended Johnson and his wife Marjorie, writing several articles on the movement that illustrated the intellectual honest intellectual history and themes linking the creationist movement with both flat earth and geocentrist beliefs. How cool is that? There's a reference to some stuff. Uh, Marjorie Johnson's death several years ago in a fire that destroyed society mailing lists and documents to severely limit Johnson's activities in his last years. Oh, that's sad. At, at his death, he was attempting to reconstruct the 2,000 names in the Flat Earth Society membership, some of whom, such as the writer, were not believers, uh, by John, John R. Cole, contributing editor. So, guys, that was an interesting article, and um, uh, it reminded me of the first time as a boy, I think it was in the 70s, so I, I, I don't think I was more than, I was really young, I'd say somewhere between 7, 8, 9, 10 years old, and my parents used to watch the Johnny Carson show, and... Uh, a show called The Hot Seat with Wally George and uh, Mr. Johnson was a guest. So uh, I searched the internet until I found true love. And <laughs> some of you might know what I'm, that song is. Anyway, 
Anyway, so um, I found it. I can't. I can't believe I found. I found the uh, the link. Uh, link to um, that original uh, talk show that I seen uh, as a boy, and it. Uh, I I I think somehow indirectly affected my ability to like accept that I don't live on a spinning fucking ball. And, um, I'll never, like, I never forgot that even in, in public school, I got, uh, I had my desk moved out in the hallway because I, I laughed at the spinning globe, uh, model that the teacher was trying to convince us we lived on. So, um, I think I'm an innate, um, nonconformist. <laughs> so, well, yeah, this is, this is cool. Okay. I'm going to share the video now. Um of the hot seat interview okay guys here we go uh, here's the interview I mentioned with um, Charles K. Johnson on the hot seat with Wally George let's get into it this is my next guest right, six right. days a week here on channel 56 Wally's on from 4.30 to 5 Monday through Friday but by me from 5 to 6 on video 1 and then on Saturday nights hey he comes on from 10 to 11, and I follow video one with Hot Seat. Can you believe it? Are you ready? Richard Blade and Wally George back to back. Well, I don't know if I'm ready, but I hope you are. Make sure you're watching KDOC Channel 56. It's going to be great. We need you, folks. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. This is the final segment of our show. Before we get to our... Notice the NASA rocket picture in the background, guys. This is freaking awesome. Last guest, I want to invite you people here in Southern California to a very special event. Uh, on, on September 23rd, Tuesday night, September 23rd, I'm going to be appearing in concert at the, the world-famous Palomino Club in North Hollywood. And I'm going to be singing some of the songs from my new rock album. What do you think? Yeah! I'm going to be there uh, with my band, The Sound Waves, and uh, Richard Blade is going to be there, and Rudy is going to be there. Yeah! Rudy Krause. So, and there's no age limit. Anybody can come, all ages. That's Tuesday, September 23rd, 9 p.m., but get there early, about 8 o'clock, at the Palomino Club in North Hollywood, Tuesday night, September 23rd. Be sure you be there, okay? Yeah! All right, now our, our final guest, I can't believe this, but uh, he's the, uh, the head of the Flat Earth Society. He, he says the Earth is definitely flat. Here is my guest, Charles Johnson. Let's hear it for Charles. Now, Charles, hold on. Now, Char you, you can't truly be serious and, and, and believe that this Earth is flat. That, the Earth is flat is one of the few things that you can ever know for sure in life. It is the only right. sure thing, you know, they talk about death and taxes being sure, but the earth being flat is much more sure than that. But oh. Charles... I mean, uh, you, you didn't give the rest of our name. It's the Flat Earth Research Society. But, we have research. We have but learned Charles, flat. We, we have seen pictures oh, of the round globe. Are you serious, Wally? I mean, in other words, your proof is... <laughs> so I think we should note here, guys, Eric Dubay is now the... I, I believe the president of the Flat Earth Research Society. Eric, if I'm wrong, let me know in the comments. <laughs> in other words, your proof is I saw it on TV. No, I've seen I it mean, from an airplane. I've seen it's oh, round. Oh, you can it from an airplane. But you know, are you saying everybody else is wrong and you people are the only ones who are right? Absolutely. Oh. But that don't get excited. The average. The average person over 40 or 50 years old knows that Earth is flat. But Charles, if the Earth was flat, you'd go driving along or you'd be in a boat going and you'd reach the end and you'd fall off the Earth. You've got backwards. If the world were a globe, a ball, and if you tried to get to Australia, you'd go over the edge. Any direction you went, you'd go over the edge. Only a globe has an edge. Obviously and logically, a flat Earth would not have an edge. 
Otherwise, there wouldn't be any water on it. But it has. So, to, it but has if the earth, earth is flat, there has to be a fall off oh, somewhere. No, the, the earth has no edge. Oh, no, wait a minute. But then how can it be flat? <laughs> According, according to Moses, who's the original writer for the Flat Earth Society, the world doesn't have a shape. It is just water. Water laying flat. And the, the world the water is that laying end. flat. Right, all water lays flat. I mean, that's the nature of water, to lay right. flat. Charles, How I, does water lay? Charles, I think the I, only, only thing flat here is your head. <laughs> have you ever seen any of that water? <laughs> Charles. Are you disputing where where Chuck are are you disputing our astronauts who have seen what? our beautiful round globe from outer space? Connie's Connie's oh, Connie <laughs> Well you can see how they implement the ridicule uh, through the through these uh, interviews. It's nothing but ridicule, that's all he had. Not a word or two. No one's been to the moon. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Did you say nobody has been no to the moon? No one has been to the moon. Oh, my God. The whole... <laughs> the whole... Wait, wait. wait. Are you, hold on. Are you saying... Are you saying that our trip to the moon was all phony? Phony. Totally. Oh. Completely oh. phony. And the reason... And all these years that this insane hoax has been taught, it come from Greece 2,500 years ago, it's called the Greece Ball religion, claiming the world is a ball. No, no proof had ever been found for this insane belief. What so, proof do you have that the Earth is flat? Let me get to who started the space program. Nick Khrushchev in Russia, the atheist communist, since they could find no proof, and he wanted to do away the Bible is a flat earth book. Jesus Christ ascended straight up. Jesus never said the earth down. was flat. Oh yes, he ascended oh, up. No, no, no. Up up and down. Heaven oh, is above the earth. In fact, and the only part of the Bible that's claimed written by God himself is the Ten Commandments. And within those commandments you'll find in Exodus twenty four, it states the earth is flat. It states you shall not make a graven image in hef from heaven above or earth beneath or the water underneath the earth. In other words, that says the world is flat. <laughs> See, the, the whole point of all hopes is, is to do away with Christianity, but to Charles, do away with sanity. But Charles, our time is gone. All I can say is, Charles, you got a little studying to do. The earth is round. I'll be right back. Good night, everybody. Uh,